How's it going everyone? My name is Will from Ghost Hack and if you have ever had trouble importing serum presets, wavetables, noises, LFO shapes, or effect chains, this is a tutorial for you because I'm going to go over how to properly do all of them. So let's say I paid someone online a bunch of money to get this very high quality uh, serum pack where I have an effect chain, an LFO shape, a noise file, a serum presets file, and a wavetable file. Now it's all just sitting here on my desktop, but how do I get it into serum in a form that serum can actually use it? It's really, really simple. Extra did a very good job with this in my opinion. I'm going to show you exactly how. Starting with the most basic, just serum preset. Now you know that to load presets, you simply click on this top bar and you have access to all your preset folders, your user, all the stuff you have for yourself and all the ones that come with Serum. But how you get it into here is very, very simple. All you have to do is go into the menu and hit show Serum presets folder. And now it's automatically in your documents, I believe. But all you have to do now is you can see you have your effect chains, LFO shapes, noises, presets, skins, skins is new, but all, all this kind of stuff. So all you have to do is go into presets and here you, you can see all the folders are right here that you had up here. So let's just go down. I'm just going to I'm just going to load it just right into all of these because I'm not really going to use this preset. So let's go into our presets that we have before, these serum presets. And now all we have to do is just take the preset and drag it into here. If it was a folder, I could drag the entire folder and then I would have the folder amongst all the other bits. But now we have the serum preset file in here. All we have to do now is just go onto the menu again and hit uh, rescan, let's see, where is it? Yeah, rescan folders on disk, just hit that. And then as soon as you bring it down, you should have, there it is, the serum preset file. So now we have the preset that you paid a bunch of money for. You will find that this process is extremely similar for all of the other ones as well. All I have to do is to go into our Serum Presets folder. Let's say we want a little wavetable, just go into Tables. Now Serum is kind of weird about how it doesn't like to have wavetables right here. It wants you to put it in a file. So just go into User. I have a bunch of my own that I've downloaded. And I'm just going to throw the wavetable file in there. And there is our wavetable. And now we can just go and hit the same button again, Rescan Folders on Disk. Go down here, go into user, and then we have to look for just wavetable file. There, now that I've clicked on the right one, here is the wavetable that you paid a bunch of money for. Amazing, I know. For the noises, it's going to be the same process as the table. Simply go into your noises, and it wants me to make a folder as well. It doesn't see how my, I had an old file, noise file right there. It probably will not read that file. I just never moved it. All you have to do is create a folder and just call this user so you can have your own, uh, own noises. And I can put this one in, in there as well. I'm just going to throw this noise file into user. And now that we have this new file, let's just go into here, hit uh, rescan folders on disk, go into the noises, go into user, and now we can pull up our noise file. And this is just a weird noise that I recorded. If you're getting any error messages for any of these files so far, you're probably trying to put it like on its own. It, it should be in a folder. Serum likes to read it in a folder. It's weird that way, so make sure that it's in a folder. Moving on to the LFO shapes. Now let's just go into the LFO shapes folder, go into user and drag our LFO shape file into this file. It literally couldn't be easier. And then we do the same thing that we've done every time. Rescan folders on disk just to refresh it. And now we can go down to our LFO, hit this file button right there, go into user. And now we can take our file, LFO shape file. And here's the LFO shape that you paid a bunch of money for. Now the last thing I'm going to go over is importing effect chains. Now I personally have never downloaded an effect chain before. I've never bought any effect chains. I've always just made my own, but it's not hard to just look at the other ones and infer that this is how it is done. Go into the effect chains folder. And now you can just, now that it's in a folder, you can just go ahead and drag the effect chain file over and we have it in there. We're gonna do the same thing. Just uh, rescan folders on disk. And now we just have a saw wave with no effect chain. We go into the menu, uh, load effect chain. And now we have our effect chain folder. If I load the effect chain file, 
now we have all the effects. So our saw wave turns into a... All right, so there you go. That is how you import and use any serum files that you've downloaded from online. If you're not able to load any of these, like if you followed what I did, but it did not work, then there is a few things that may be wrong. You may either have a cracked version of Serum that is not, like the code isn't complete. You know, if you, if you didn't buy Serum, obviously there's gonna be some problems. I know there are a lot of producers out there that crack software. Also, your Serum might not be updated. I highly suggest that every time Serum comes out with a new update, you can just go on the uh, X4 website and make sure that the Serum that they have to download there is the same as the one you have there. You can see the, the build and the date and stuff like that. If it's any different, if it's a newer model, I uh, highly suggest that you download it. If you own Serum, then it's free to download and any presets that you download from there will probably be in the new format. So I highly suggest that you do that just to stay up to date and any presets that you download should work just fine. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you're still having trouble and nothing that I said in this video explained it, feel free to leave a comment below and either we or another fellow producer can maybe try and help you out and solve the issue. So thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Happy producing.